Hello. Okay, we're live. I don't know what I did here. I clicked on something. Um, it's haul time. Hope you guys are ready. I did just check my um email. PayPal emails me somehow. I set up a feature to where every time I use my PayPal debit card, um, and I'm able to use my PayPal debit card more now that I'm selling on eBay and you get instant money. So that's awesome. Um, so every time I get an email, it tells me each time I charge the card. So I spent $40.86 today at the Goodwill bins. Let me open the chat while I'm talking. And then um, also the PayPal debit card gives you cash back. So it's just an all win-win all the way around is what I was trying to say. Okay. I found some okay stuff. Not as good as yesterday's haul. Um, so I even have the intentions of not buying anything unless it's worthy to resell so we'll see how well that goes you guys let me know what you think let's see here the only thing that I would have to say that really wasn't to resell is this cute little table and I paid two dollars for it um, I think she gave me a good deal on that I think the tables are usually like, I don't know, either three or five dollars. I'm not quite sure. Um, let me show you. So I got it in the actual tubs. So it was supposed to be weighed at 75 cents a pound. Um, and so I asked her how much it was. She asked me where I got it. I was honest with her. She's a really cool manager there. Love her to death. Um, super awesome. Anyway, she charged me 20 bucks. So as you can see, I'm noticing that this wood piece is kind of broken, but my husband is a carpenter. He does woodwork for a living. And to cut out one piece of board to take this one off and replace it is a piece of cake. Like, no worries. So, um, it's a really cute table. So these even bend down. They're not supposed to, but love it. Two bucks. You can't beat that, right? Super cool. Okay, let's get into this haul. <coughs> so <coughs> this is going to be kind of funny because I said I bought everything to resell. Some of these are like little items. This is all hard goods. And make this screen wider down here. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> OMG. Well, me and a guy, well, he told me, he said, uh, so what do you got to trade with me? And I had no idea he was going to say that. I had a wooden car it wasn't vintage or anything it's just a wooden car and i was gonna look it up it had the wheels four wheels um and see how much it sold for but i never got around to it and when he said that i looked at what he had in his cart and he had the ringling brothers circus cup and for you fellow youtubers that follow my channel i have found a similar one states place actually found the same one that I have, but it's a clown face. So my kids use that one. And so I went ahead and figured what the heck, we'll get this one and it's plastic and it's kid friendly. So I got a Ringling Brothers or Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey combined shows. And this one is from 1988. So it's, it's a vintage one in my opinion. Um, I got three coconut cups, okay, and I found the straws that go with them. These are super fun. They are BPA free, luckily, and they are coolgearincorporated.com, um, made in China, 2014. 
These were so cute. These reminded me, I think, of Jason Smith, I believe is his name. He does a lot of Hawaiian cups. Um, he totally taught me that you should watch out for the uh, tiki cups. This is obviously just a cheap one, but they are super cute. And again, I got three of them. I like to drink some drinks in. They're rubber sealed clothes. Let me show you a cleaner one. Um, so it's got this cute stopper and it's like a little bit insulated. So I got three of those. They're super lightweight, like they weigh nothing. So they were less than 75 cents each, probably, or 75 cents for all three of them. Where's the third one? Not sure. So that's why I said intentions of selling everything. I did pick up just, you can buy these at Walmart. This is brand new sealed um, bird stamps. And you actually adhere these flat stamps to the back of like a wooden um, stamper. I didn't know that. And they're easily removable, so you can reuse this the wood stamp. Um, yeah, there's like a whole company about these, and I just learned about them. Um, but this isn't the brand. This is just a uh, Martha Stewart brand here. But it's two fifty. They bought it on clearance originally ten. So I picked this up for like a quarter. So it's pretty cute. Then I don't know when I got this, but it is new in the box or packaging. It's grow a new boss. Are you tired of being underpaid, overworked, and belittled? Then grow a new boss, it says. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I got this, but it weighs nothing too. So like 10 cents. Um, I saw somebody have this diffuser in their hand and they threw it and I couldn't reach it. So I was like, hey, can you hand me that? Um, diffusers are always like 10 to 30 bucks, if not more. I paid 50 for mine. Um, so I just picked up a really cool diffuser that I hope even works. So I got that. You put your essential oils. Sorry, I always have a crinkly loud bag in my videos. Um, so, as I was saying, um, I love those. So, I got to show you guys the coolest thing ever. And I might just make him my YouTube. Oh, it's coming loose now that I'm showing it to you guys. I'll have to fix that. Okay. So there's a trick to this. Are you ready? It's the most hilarious thing ever, okay? This is Santa Claus, my kids in his room. Um, so I have no idea what this is. Is he baking cookies or something? I have no idea what this is. But he's got like a toy guy here. Um, he's got a toy bag here. It looks like something's glued came off. Um, yes, I'm doing a live video, not a call, but a live video. Um, so he has a little, like a tobacco pipe here and he has a hole in his mouth. And then when you look on the bottom, there was something that went connected here. You can tell cause there was some glue. Um, but this pops right out. And you put one of those triangle incense inside here. And lo and behold, it smokes out the Santa Claus. And the smoke comes out his, um, his uh, mouth here. So he's blowing out smoke. The coolest thing I have ever found. I didn't quite... Oh, he's missing his hand, isn't he? And I don't care. I wonder if I did that. I didn't notice that until just now. I wonder if his hand's in my bag. Whoops. It's just a green wooden knob, nub, or whatever. So, yeah, I love this guy. He was also uh, 75 cents a pound. And it's just so cool that he literally 
has smoke that'll come out his mouth. So unfortunately I don't have any triangle um, things to put in there. So, or I would demo it for you guys. Just looking for my bottle of water. I guess I have a little bit left here. Okay, <clears throat> so we're not done. Um, there was a couple hair products, and I don't see any loose hairs on this, okay? It's in really good condition, um, but I, I got this because it's Revlon, and I can sell these at my garage sales all day long. They don't take up a lot of space, and I know that anything like this is probably 10 20 bucks in Walmart all day long, so looked unique i've never used one so i don't know if it blow dries out or what so that's cool then before i found that one i found this one and this one is kind of dirty got or it has hair on it too um but this one is hot shot tools and it seemed like it was in pretty good condition needs to be sanitary sanitized or whatever um, let's see. So in an older video, I had some Angel Care product that I found at the bins. I don't even think I ever listed it on eBay and it went in a garage sale and then I might have donated it back. I can't remember um, if anybody bought it or not. But I swear I think I donated it back. But anyways, um, I think this is a breastfeeding clock. I have no idea. But I found it in a Ziploc bag, and I just bought these two together. Uh, they sell on eBay. All right. So the next item, hello, is a Baldwin uh, candle holder, but it's cool. It says uh, Forged in America. It's got that cute key. But um, someone had this and they set it down in the very back by the chairs and stuff. Um, I think it's brass, maybe. It's what it looks like anyways. Um, but a fellow uh, bin shopper locally to me, he showed me an eBay listing that he had of a bunch of brass, like a, a table full of like maybe 20, 30 brass items and they did sell for like a hundred bucks. So if you do collect a few brass pieces and sell them all together, um, and they're just, I'm talking like candle holders, literally, he showed it to me and it sold for the hundred. So I looked this one up and a double one sells for, it looked like around 30 bucks or more. So this was worth it. It is kind of heavy, but I picked it up. Lots of junk here. I also gave a lady a ride home that I see up there all the time. She does not have a car. She says she doesn't even resell. And I see her there like almost every time I go. And she lives in a tiny house not far from my bins. Um, but it's pretty, right? The candle holder. Welcome, Georgia Picker Parker. I always want to call you Georgia Picker. Probably because Picker is always in here. Um, so anyways, I gave her a ride home and she's like, and I was like, really? You don't sell? Resell? And she's like, no. She's like, and my house isn't even like cluttered or anything. I'm like, okay, I hope not. Anyways, I felt good. I gave her a ride because I heard her talking to the cashier girl saying that uh, it was going to take like 45 minutes for her ride to even get there. I wasn't in a huge hurry and it was on my way home. So anyways. I really wanted to throw this ugly denim vintage look uh, blue jean purse. But since this old vintage style is coming back um, a lot and it's crazy, the things that some of the young kids are wearing, the high waisted mom jeans and all that, I went ahead and got this. It was 75 cents a pound really good condition and uh, it's got a leather zipper handles are good i don't think there's a brand yeah well hold on 
Do not wash. Oh, it's got an RN number. I wonder if it really has like a brand because I don't see the brand. It's 100% cotton. Um, really clean, to be honest. It just, I don't see a brand. So it's just a denim purse that I paid probably a dollar for maybe. It's not even that heavy. 75 cents a pound. So there's that. Oh, here's my other coconut cup. Be good for margaritas, right? Or whatever. Malibu rum and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> There's a school bus. It's kind of late. Okay, Becky. No, I'm joking. Um, so... Hear me out here. The dog is dirty. I know it, but the dog walks. The batteries are dead. Um, it's clean on this side. It's totally ragged. I'm sure you can clean these and make the hair renewed and refreshed. I've seen people do it to like Barbie dolls or something. However, the remote alone sells or they have it on eBay, like only three or four of them. Well, when I kept touching it, this came right off. So just the remote alone is listed for like 20 bucks on eBay. I figured, what the hell? Nobody's got the dog listed. Even if mine does have a few stains, it's probably cleanable. Super gross. But me, personally, I would just cut those off. Like, completely cut them. Try to wash them. If they don't wash out, then cut them. But it is a 2003, it's not made by Hasbro, which is weird because everything's made by Hasbro to me, I think. This is MGA Entertainment. Never heard of it before. I don't think that's going to pick up at all. I'm sure you guys don't care, but there it is. MGA. Um, <clears throat> so... I really, really honestly was being cheap, and I was like, well, let's just get the remote and leave the dog. And then after seeing that nobody has the dog listed and none sold, I went ahead and got the dog. Super cute, right? So hopefully the dog works. Y'all want to see? Because I got a shit ton of batteries. Uh, next item, the lady that I gave a ride home, she actually lifted this up and was like, hey, and my dog, we had to take away all the balls um, because his knee is hurting real bad and he might be getting hip, lip, hip dysplasia. Um, when we throw the ball, he starts crying at night. So I took away all the balls and I was like, hey, I need that toy because I only want him to have a bunch of little play toys and we got him one and he loves it. Um, <clears throat> so that's cool that I found a free little cheap toy there. And I'm just going to assume that it takes four batteries because I think that's what it is. Okay, let's see if this bad boy works. I'm sure it does. I'm not sure why I'm making y'all watch me do this, but I'm kind of curious. Does the battery... I wonder if the remote, no, the remote doesn't have no batteries. Hold on, I need a better screwdriver. Here we go. I don't know if the remote doesn't need batteries. I don't think so. Oh, I can hear it talking already. Yeah, the batteries are dead. Y'all hear it? Cool. Okay, so we know it works. Let's see what the dog does. And I think I'll probably do a YouTube video that it works. Um, I got this new app that edit. Oh, shit. I do not have these big batteries. Sees. What a freaking bummer. You know what I should start doing, you guys? If I was smart, I would um, start to care if I was cheaper, right? I would start carrying a screwdriver around. And when you find bigger toys... Throw them away so they don't weigh it on your ass. Yeah, I'm a little frustrated, I guess. That's why I keep, uh... That's why I keep cursing. Okay, so... 
C batteries. No, I don't have any. I'm sure I could take some out of my kids' toys and then put it back on later. Go figure. It's C batteries. But we know it works because we just heard the uh, dead batteries kind of talking. Be right back, guys. I'm just going to put these back where I got it. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, we will try to smell the dog. <clears throat> and the remote, I don't know. I think, the, no, the dog won't fit in that. So, it's for sure going to cost, you know, like, 15 bucks to ship it. So let's see what Georgia Parker says. I like your videos because they are in real time being real. Like this is actually what happens when you list. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Um, thanks for your feedback. I appreciate it. Um, let's get this bag over here. Ooh, you guys. So I have found one of these when, um, by Chaz Dean conditioners before the one that I had, I had had it listed and then I realized that the lid was cracked, but it was still factory sealed. Right. So I bought it and when I got it home, I didn't realize that the lid was cracked. So I ended up taking off the factory seal and keeping it for myself and not selling it on eBay. And I'll tell you what, it's a very thick, a very good, thick, high quality conditioner, this Wen brand, and it's expensive. If you look at the solds on eBay, however, I um, am kind of bummed that it has peg in it. I think I saw a YouTube video, and you'll think I'm crazy, but we literally got rid of everything in our house that has the word peg. Let me see. This peg right here, dash 60, the higher the number means the higher the chemicals and stuff, like carcinogen. And when you hear carcinogen, that's just like a word, fancy word for saying like, to me, that how I see it is like cancerous. So, huge bummer that this is not an organic brand and it cost a fortune. And the name just sounds organic when it sounds like a Chinese name or something. Um, but this is winter cranberry. So, I think this is going to be a good seller for me on eBay really cool and i'm super happy that i no longer use peg so i'll get to uh, sell this <clears throat> yeah we got rid of everything that says peg and everything that says uh sodium something i don't know let me see if it's in here <clears throat> Uh, it was like Sodium Lauren or Laurel, like a girl's name. Because they also said on the YouTube video or on the chemical video that this, uh, and it's crazy because all of our makeup and all my face stuff, my shampoos, everything had peg in it. And then it also had the cancerous product, the Sodium Laurel something. There's too many products in here, but anyways, yeah, I have no idea why I got this, but it's a uh, super thick lotion. It says chocolate cream. Um, I put my finger on it, but it looked like a brand new jar. That's super gross. I normally don't buy stuff like this, but it kind of smelled good, and I really did need some lotion on my psoriasis. I have like not eczema, but psoriasis on the bottom of my hands. Super gross. Yeah, but I did get that. Looks like an expensive brand, too. So I don't know. Um, shea butter, witch hazel, cocoa butter, vitamin E, essential oils, it says, rosemary. So whatever. Don't hate. Um, so I did get, uh, do a haul recently of some. My Little Ponies, and I found a bunch today. I actually used to play with these when I was little, and I'm not sure if bundling them up they will sell, 
but I found a bunch of them and these ones are different though because their legs bend so they're more I don't know I was gonna say current but I don't know what I'm talking about what year they have a writing mm -hmm. well I don't know doesn't say the year oh let's see this one 2014 so they're probably around there um but check it out oh look that one's got some rainbow hair clown hair or something um check it out i got some cool ones though for those of you that are girls oh did this come off my santa claus it looks like it did oh that was the other piece in his hand i think <clears throat> check it out watch i think maybe i hope no i was hoping that went in his hole but it in his hole but in his thing i don't know i think this was hanging from the string i don't know anyways I'm pretty sure that does go with it okay Ooh, there's one more i'm missing it oh look there's his hand i found it we didn't throw it away! Woohoo! Oh, okay, I see. So that goes in here. Yeah. Like that. I knew he had a hand when I first saw him. I knew he wasn't missing it. <clears throat> well, yeah, okay. What I was going to show you is that two of them have water in their wings with glitter. So these ones may be a little bit more cooler. So what are you doing? Your chore list? You're reading it? Okay. It's like, why are you just standing there? <clears throat> okay. So I got a bag here. And a bag here. We'll go through the smallest one. That way I'll feel a little bit more accomplished quicker. <clears throat> okay, first item is a patent leather, like pleather fake nurse's uniform. Totally had to get this because I'm sure that it will sell. It's a size small, so that's a bummer that it's a small, but whatever. I did already inspect it. It's in pretty good condition. <clears throat> Didn't see any holes or nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, that's better. So I saw these just laying like that. I saw that seven and seven. So these are seven jeans. And some girls like these and some don't. They don't sell for too crazy, but easily like a 20 bucks or more maybe just depends on size and style this is just a boot cut and a size eight and i inspected it the pair i found yesterday the bottoms were all ripped up so these are perfect so i picked those up The next item is just a very cute boho. I might even keep this. I don't know. It's super cute. Um, just a top. And it's by Um G. I believe Anthro or Urban Outfitters carried this brand or did a collab or something like that. I don't know. Don't quote me. Um, um G. And I do know for sure that this is also a Dillard's. Uh, brand that they sell. Oh, that's cute. It's got like some dove in it. I'm gonna try it on and see if I like it. I might keep it. A lady right next to me that I found that and this MG both beside each other. This is a small medium and a lady right next to me who's a huge reseller, but I think she does a lot of hard goods. Um, she picked this up and then she threw it down like she didn't even want it. And it's just a big old, uh, like, kimono, I guess is what you call these. Big old cape. Um, and it's got the fringe. You guys, it's, like, really good condition. I don't even need to tell you. 
<clears throat> then I found a cabbie, which is cool because this was just like a real ugly kind of colorful print. It looked kind of old school, nothing fancy, and it was by like not in a huge clothing pile. It was like with a bunch of like hard goods junks, like with this and I tend to pick up everything because you never know what it is. I picked up a black piece just like this, and it was Chanel. Um, it's listed on my Poshmark, but people are only offering me like 40 bucks for it, so I'm about to have to sell it for like 35 or 40 um, But I picked it up. It's cute. Not bad. Cabbie's a really good seller for certain styles. I learned Cabbie from... Um, Nicole State, State's Place, YouTube channel. Um, picked this up. It's mohair, I believe. Yeah, 45% mohair, wool, viscose, and polyamide. No clue. It's that, uh, what do you call that? A fabric, looks like. Oh, I can't think of it. But there's no flaws. Um, this brand sells pretty good. Last time I looked it up, ETC Etra or something, size 12. I have a whole suit that I have to list that's like purple and bubblegum, rainbow, shiny looking color. I think I've been so nervous to, to even list it um, to make sure that it's listed correctly, that it's still sitting on my rack. Um, we'll probably list that tomorrow. My kid just cleaned the window because he's doing a chore and he like overkill sprayed the chemical uh, window cleaner inhaling it. All right, so this was very cool. Not bad. It's a puffer jacket. I got this at obviously the Goodwill bins if you're just joining. Um, I did spend about $40.80 or something, so 41 bucks. This is a Michael Kors extra large um, puffer jacket. I think that's what you call these. And I inspected it. There's a few little tiny, like, looks like it needs to be washed a little bit. I don't know. You can't really see it. Um, but I think it's a down, like a goose down or something. Let me see. Fox for inside. Yeah, it's 50% down and 50% waterfowl feather. Never heard of waterfowl feather, have y'all? Waterfowl feather hood and collar. Collar, yeah, I don't know. Um, So I am totally going, yeah, see like right here, it's kind of dirty. It's probably got like a food or slobber stain, whatever you want to call that. I'm going to throw this in my washing machine. And then I'm going to flip it and sell it. <clears throat> but not till I can see what stains are stuck on it and what stains I washed out. Okay, last item in that bag. Then we have one more bag that's pretty big to go through. This was super cool. And I don't think it's vintage. But it looks vintage. Like, I'm talking like super old school, like prairie dress stuff. So it's 100% cotton, size large. It's like a nightgown. Like, oh, okay. It buttons down. Um, It's got some cool-ass sleeves here, like arm sleeves, I guess. But it's really long. Um, it's super cute. I could not pass this up. I think it does have... Well, obviously, it has a huge yellow stain on it that I didn't see, but I don't care. Um, <clears throat> it's still super cool, and I think it's still going to sell. Maybe some professional stain remover knows how to get the, that stain out. I'm sure it's possible, but I, on the other hand, have difficulties getting yellow stains out of whites. Not a pro. <clears throat> okay. Last bag, and I'm going to see if I can set it on this chair, actually. There's shoes. I'm going to show you guys some shoes. Not very many, though. And some clothes. 
I didn't find any new attacks today, you guys. Yesterday I found quite a bit. Okay, I looked these up on eBay, and I'm excited to show you guys these. So from now on, I'm no longer buying Donald Pliner. I don't know if there's other resellers that sell it a lot. Or if there is a reseller that loves it on YouTube, no offense. But I have purchased Donald Pliner items before and they never sold. However, these have dragons on them. And when you look up dragon Donald Pliners, they sell for decent money. Um, so these are going to sell for sure. Um, they are also in pretty good condition. They need to be wiped down. They've been at the bins. Um, super fancy. What are these? Uh, seven and a half. Like, I could wear these, but I'm not into dragons. However, I still think these are badass. Um, so, yeah. Dragon blowing fire. Totally cool, right? These are amazing. They are made in Spain. Again, be careful picking up Donald Pliner. I will not be picking them up unless it has something as cool as a dragon spitting fire. So that's the name. They're Slingback. I didn't know that these were called Slingback. They're suede embroidered, I guess you'd also call that. Yeah, yeah. Super cool, super cool. I pay $2.00 per pair of shoe at my bins. These are in great shape. Where can we put these right here? Okay. Um, next ones, there were not very many. I'm gonna get something in my eye. There were not many of these on Poshmark, so I took a risk on these, but I think I'm confident that they're gonna sell. Nope. <clears throat> they are denim wood, like I'm talking like real wood shoes, clogs, wedges, platform, whatever you want to call it. Um, they are in really good condition. Two bucks. These are by Oh, how cute! I love it! Um, no, I don't love these shoes at all. I would not wear these, um, but I love what I just saw. These are by Steve Madden. They're kind of dirty right there, but, um, oh, look, there's a little piece of the wood chipped, but I don't think that's going to affect it at all. Um, look at that wood, you guys. Oh, I just dropped it. And then there's a chip on the heel. I didn't see that. Okay. So that's fine. But I love the name. Joplin 9B. Uh, wood bottom and synthetic sole. These are made in Brazil. Joplin reminds me of Janice. Joplin. I love Janice Joplin a lot. Love, love, love her. I uh, wish she could make more music, but unfortunately, she is deceased. So there's those. I think my hubby's here. I better hurry or the kid's going to be really loud. Okay, so then I got these. Uh, these are corks, and they sell pretty good on Poshmark, even though they are so, um, sorry, ugly. They're a pink, kind of like a pink rose gold color. Uh, again, they are by literally the brand called K O R K S Cork Ease. Cork Ease. Hello. Then I got some booties, and nobody wanted to get these because of what they look like on the inside. But they are an eight, genuine leather. And the inside sole just needs to be replaced. Um, but these are in really good condition. Booties. Super heavy-duty, high-quality um, leather. 
man-made, whatever. Uh, they are also, I've never seen this before, you guys, but there's Goodyear on the actual heel. The heel is also damaged right here, but I didn't care. I still wanted to buy these. Oh, and it's broken right there, so, yeah. There were eight, so I was like, I can probably wear these, so I might wear them. I don't know. Wear them till they break, right? <clears throat> okay, I think we got, like, two more pairs of shoes, maybe. Um, These are B, C, B, G, or B, C, B generation, however you say that. Super cute, strappy, super high heel. They're that nude tan wedge. Look at that toe on there. It's not even chipped. Excellent condition, you guys. Clubbing shoes or something. Three bags, huh? Yep. Yeah, I know. I got the call. Okay. Um, somebody threw these back and they just looked pretty fancy. Uh, and it's J. Vincent. Can't, I'm not sure what you call that. Is that bamboo probably? But they have a... None of the rhinestones were missing. So, and it's got the logo there. I went ahead and got these for two bucks. Eight and a half. Real leather soles on that. There's the heel. I'm almost done, babe. <clears throat> okay. All my clothes are wrapped in, I think. Okay. In a sweater. So somehow this cute, cute Star Wars shirt just ended up in my cart. I never remembered grabbing it. I probably grabbed it with a couple other things and threw it in. And I was like, well, I didn't put this in there. And then I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I don't want this. But I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, it's a cute shirt. Vika Women's Star Wars shirt. I think I might actually keep it. I don't know. I'm not even into Star Wars. But it's cool. Got this really, really high tech, like super duper beaded uh, sweater on the sleeves, on the pocket, and then it's Style Rack clothing brand. It's really thick material, too. I don't know what it's made of, like polyester or what? Polyester, spandex. That's it. Size medium. Then I got a Chico's size one. This was at the Goodwill thrift store. Nobody bought it. You can tell because of the marker. And if it had two marks, then they would double the price. Um, but it's got that glitter tinsel um, silver in it. And it's just a cardigan throw or whatever sweater. I really like it, <clears throat> so I think I'm keeping that. And then, unfortunately, these are also for me, too. <clears throat> Dang, so these are a size 14, but they're pretty, not that big. They're really stretchy. They're just some peak and peck black slacks. And the ankles aren't too, too wide, so I like that. <clears throat> Then I found a Gap, like denim chambray or whatever you call it, kind of like denim shirt. Super cute. Didn't have any stains or holes. So I picked that bad boy up for sale. Then I found this Anthropology brand, yellow um, mauve or mauve, however you pronounce it. Um, it's just a small, though, unfortunately, I think. Extra small. Anthropology tag. I checked it over. Oh, I did find a new tag item, but it was just a kid's item. Chaps, size 4. 
T. Uh, Summer Pink is what it's called. It's got ruffles. Again, if you go to eBay and you click on the solds, um, new tags outranks used clothes by triple or whatever. So I'm definitely going to start picking up new tags a lot more. Um, obviously, people just even feel more comfortable wearing or buying something that's new and never been worn before. So um, I thought maybe I would sell this Tom Sawyer sweater. But it's a little boy's sweater, and it's a size 6. So I think I'm going to keep it for my son. Um, but I also wanted to look up Tom Sawyer and see how well his clothes sells, because I don't know. Um, so that was cool. <clears throat> Another blazer. It's also got the tinsel glitter in it also. It's a light purple color and it's Neiman Marcus so I definitely had to get that and this has mohair also as well as cotton and shoulder pads what are you doing buddy bud um, this is a um, infinity Lord help me I didn't know what infinity was until Poshmark did I just rip it I just ripped it with my freaking fingernail a little bit. I don't think you can tell. Let me pull the thread back. Yeah. No. Maybe. Um. <clears throat> anyways, as I was saying, I did not know that this was called an infinity scarf because it has no end. So it's an infinity yeah and then infinity you twist it like my husband just told me when you put it around your neck so it's double but i really kind of picked this up because it's got the cute glitter but it's also steve madden and i never find steve madden scarves so there's a tag very cool steve madden well, can y'all see it or not? I know you can. I'm just trying to get a better view of it. There's that. Um, <clears throat> eyeshadow. Found a new tag item. It's a short sleeve, though, so that's a bummer. It's a 1X. Uh, really soft, just a t-shirt. And since it had the new tags and it says 36 bucks and it's a big size, I definitely went ahead and got that. Someone could buy it for Christmas or something. Um, so this is a tie-dye back. I think I'm going to keep this, maybe. It's also got a cute little draping there in the front this is a expensive boutique in my local town um, they also tend to donate new tag items so that's awesome when i find it which this basically smells new or somebody wore it and returned it and then they donated it so <clears throat> i got that and I'm probably keeping it, like I said. I'm going to wash it. All right, last few things. Um, I found this blanket. Like, it looked like a blanket, but it's not. It's a vest. Oversized. It's a high-end boutique as well, but it feels so warm like a blanket. It is gray. And it's Honey Punch. Small, medium, but it's really like a medium large. Super oversized arms. It's just big. So it also has pockets. It has pockets. Yay. That's good. So I debated on getting my niece. She is only like three months pregnant. I debated on getting her these little boy clothes. Uh, she is having a boy, by the way. I don't think I got to share that with you guys yet. Um, so just found a couple 
decent, no stain. Like, this is just Carter's. Like, you can get Carter's at Walmart or the Carter's store, JCPenney's. Um, <clears throat> but I picked up, that's um, coveralls. What is this by? Who is it? Carter's also, I mean, it's kind of early for me to be buying clothes. Um, and I need to see what she's going to have and what she needs first before I start wasting my money. Um, but last item out of the whole bag is just a cute little pair of football um, shorts. Carter's again. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Size six months. I got her these little pieces. So, I mean, they cost me less than a dollar, maybe right at a dollar. <clears throat> I'll close my blinds here, guys. It's dark. Okay, it's dinner time. The fam bam is home. Thanks for watching my videos, you guys. Hope you have a great evening. And we'll probably do a listing video tomorrow because this girl needs to list. See you later.